Welcome to the Hardcore Crappie Fishing <coughs> Pros. Look, we're back. Some of us have red shirts on. Some of us have uh, different colored shirts on. But we all have b and and poles. Um, and so we're all part of B&M. We like uh, fish at B&M poles. I, of course, brought a sharpshooter. And, and the good news about that is you guys use the yep. sharpshooters and I use so. That just leaves you out. Yeah. And there's a reason why. You're always out. There's a diamond over there, too. Yeah, there's a diamond over there. <laughs> That's no. right. Uh, oh, one. But, well, there's a white one over there. But That's there's also talking. the blue diamond. Yeah. Over there too. So the the white one's what we're talking about. Yeah. The 75th anniversary. So, what's your favorite pole? If you can only have one, what's your uh, favorite pole? So, well, oh, Greg's, Greg's starting to start. We'll start over, yeah. we'll start uh, over here with... Uh, a big with you? A buck graphite jig pole. And length? I, I would prefer a 16 foot. All right. Tell us, about, tell us about that rod and when you use it. To me, I think it's the most sensitive uh, pole that they make for rigging. Uh -huh. um, I mean, it's so sensitive, I always tell people, you'll know when your minute passes gas. Wow. That's how sensitive it is. Um, I like to use it mostly through, uh, with minute rigging. I like uh -huh. to use it with either a... Uh, most time with, with the wind around here, it's about a one eight, about a, a sixteenth ounce. I mean, not a sixteenth, but a half ounce minute rig with it. Uh -huh. um, I will step down to three eight if you don't have any wind, and it's and I'm fishing really shallow, or really really shallow. I mean, shallow than a normal fish, but you know, five four foot deep. Um, right. In the water column. Uh, it's just it's a sensitive pole. It you can tell the lightest bite with it. I mean, some people say they call it the sniper rifle. Right. It's got, it's decent backbone. And it's got it's got a decent backbone for it. It's uh, it's actually one of B and M's oldest jig poles they make. I think it I don't know, they might I might be wrong on this, but it's like one of the first graphite poles they came out with. So it probably is. I think it's been over fifty years and it's one and of those time. And it wasn't intended for spider rigging. No. But it was made. I mean it, it was a jigging pole. They make different they make different lengths. I think they make a nine to ten Cup to 18, 12, don't 14, they? No, 16. 16 as long as they can. Yeah, 16 on that one. Uh, yeah. There's some people actually live scoping. They'll, they'll live scope with yeah. that. Yeah, literally. I mean, literally, I've been in a boat on Truman. Well, that's and people uh, are using I'm like, I'm like, are you sure that's in my I look down, I'm like, before that, that's that got tick pole on them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, especially if you're, you know, the, a lot of those people that are live scope, use them live scope, and they're not catching them super deep. Yeah. You know, the most of the deepest of fishing in ten foot of water or less. So, you know, it's it's a good rod for that. It's it's yeah. got a mm -hmm. it's got a good a good tip on it, and like I said, it's got a fair amount of good bite bone yeah. on it. And uh, but it took, and it's about, lightweight. It, it's not a heavy rod. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 I mean uh, if there's any pole that I would want to fish with, it'd be. I mean, I'm in a rig, and that's the one pole, the first pole I would choose. How many do you think you have in your house? How many? How many of those rods? Do you oh, have? That model. Do you have that more than eight? Yeah, you got sixteen. Sixteen. So you got that back up. Yeah, that's what I've got on that one. I got sixteen, and I got I probably got eight fourteen footers. Yeah. So, but that model. That's mostly what you do. How durable are they? Because you, uh, well, I mean, I've got. Aren't, water aren't you a big uh, gar catcher too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've I've been got... catching those freshwater tarpon with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I just saw there. one I caught the other day. That sucker, he was on this pole and shot over. And I pulled him up and he shot all the way. He'd come undone, but he shot out. Is that the one you videoed? No, that was the oh, guy okay. in the back. He caught that on the PST okay. pole. But, but yeah, I mean, it's a durable pole. I mean, I've caught stripers on it. Yeah. I've caught, I've caught walleye on it, which walleye don't really bite. But I've caught... We caught a spoonbill on yeah, one. I've, I've, I've snagged a spoonbill with one. Yes, I have. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was so a big one. Blue Springs, uh, yeah. where you yeah. got a spoonbill one. I day. caught one spoonbill with it. Um, caught striper with them. Caught white bass, and you know, I mean, I Can't and finish. I hoist them in. You know, I hoist white bass in. I don't worry about netting them. I mean, the big ones. I've them, yet. You know. uh, I mean, I don't really net them. You know, I've had a couple of the tips break, but it was the over Do they, If I've had a tip break, it's because of my own stupidity. That's what I'm saying. Well, somebody stepped on it first. It wasn't because of uh, it wasn't the because fish, the fish or something. Or it was home. usually um, it had either been hit or something, and you just moved it just bad or whatever, yeah. and it just snapped. I mean, the only time I've only, I fished with them for probably eight years, 
and I've only broke one tip, and it was wow. my stupidity. It was when a guard went down into, went underneath the boat, and I just wasn't paying attention. And I mean, he, where my line, where my rod tip was, and the guard went underneath there and got lying around the trolling motor, and that snapped my tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the only time that I've snapped a tip on that. Do you know, do they sell replacement? Yeah, they do sell Very top segment. segment yeah, they sell replacement. Oh, so I mean, go. you can get them off BNM's website and get yeah. it off Grizzly Jig and pay, pretty much anywhere BNM sells yeah. poles. So keep that in mind, some of those poles that BNM has, sure. they, they have replacement. Yeah. Yeah, they've changed it a little bit because, uh, like, I've got some, I had one I had to replace, and they see, my, like see I had a, I think I had chartreuse tip, and the new one's orange tip, yeah, or yeah, vice orange. versa. Yeah. yeah. They so went to the changed the color on the two, tip. About two, three years ago. Yeah, that's why I say they changed the yeah. color of the tip. That's the only difference. Before they had the color tips, I, paint, I had mine painted. I yeah. painted mine. Mine would, I, I mean, I'd wear, I'd What wear, color did you paint your Mine was chartreuse, right? I sealed. Because early in the morning, you couldn't see the tips. Right. So. What's your What's your favorite? That's Sharpshooter 6. Right here? Yep. Sharpshooter 6. So it's a spinning. It's a spinning. It's a spinning. And why Why is it your favorite? Why would you say? Well, because I'm a dock shooter by heart. Uh-huh. And that pole right there is good for everything. Anytime somebody invites me to go fishing with them, I grab my Sharpshooter 6. Uh -huh. Whether it's trout fishing, perch jerk, and I mean, I use it. Uh, in the creeks, bass fishing, uh, I've caught catfish with them, and they are super durable. Uh, they got great backbone, great tip, and for reaching in, you know, 25 to 30 feet underneath them boat docks, uh -huh. that dude right there will shoot your jig in there. I'm deadly with that. That's that's my baby right there. And it's six foot. Six foot. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, I think that's the best rod they've ever made, in my opinion. Have so, you ever tried dock shooting with a longer rod? No, I haven't because. <laughs> I, I'll bend that tip all the way back to that reel some days to get it back in there 40 feet if I need it to. Right. So, and it will. She'll bend over and she'll throw that jig up up in there. I've yet to break one of these. They're pretty tough. If you, you probably know. I broke them by hitting them on the dock before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It's like I said, my stupidity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Usually my stupidity or, or a customer breaking it. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, I probably got 20 of them. I think they're very so. affordable, too. I should have looked up the price point. On that one's still shiny. I've got some. You can't even see the Sharpshooter 6. The cork handle's brown and nasty. To, and I have to admit, I did clean the, the rod it, part. Yeah, it's like, it looks, so, uh, it looks that one's a pretty good shape. It just took it out of plastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's just hasn't been out of the plastic. It's right it's now. hard to... Uh, and that's uh, that, that reel there. That's a good oh, little reel. For, yeah, that, uh, that's the B&M newest one. Yeah. The 70... Fifth uh, anniversary, anniversary reel. Uh -huh. That's a good little reel. This I put on all, like I put on yeah. all my poles. I haven't had a problem with those. Yeah. I like to use you know, four, between four and six pound tests, and most of the time it's six pound tests. Right. Uh -huh. I use them for sniping too, but I'm casting at roamers. I use that. Uh, That's when you're not looking to go the distance, right? Yeah, and it, it, if I need to go the distance, I'll, I'll put a 16th ounce jig head on it and a split shot above it. To, to get it out there and to get it, to keep it moving fast. Right. Because sometimes I find fish, you know, because I can throw a smaller bait with it, and, and I think some fish react to that lighter line a little better. Right. So, but no, if I'm going fishing, that's what I'm taking. I always have those with me. How about you, Greg? Well, I like the pros that they're talking about as well, but um, one of my favorites is a, the the uh, sixteen foot blood diamond. Uh, I mean, you can ask him. Oh, yeah. If we're live scoping, I know when we get started, I probably need to be using my six shooter or the 75th anniversary rod, the right. seven footer. And I tell him every time, I said, I don't care. I'm starting with this boat. I, I just like that 16 foot. I like the way it feels. I like the way I like to fish that way. And it's it's, uh, it's just a good, really a good all around rod. I mean. You can, you don't, you don't worry about net. And those we got to use the nets. But the that one, I don't have to worry about net. I can just sling him babies over. He does too. I slung a big old walleye the other day, 20, 23 inch walleye over the side of the really? day. A, a DV long at that. Mm -hmm. but with a. You like the backbone, huh? You like the backbone of it. Yeah. I haven't got yeah. a fish with it yet. Yeah, I love the. I mean, I love the backbone on that 16-footer. 
I just, I don't know. That's my favorite. And they got an 18 footer. I do this, have an 18. Yeah. This winter I got into that 18 footer. I, think I use 18 some. I don't have some. Yeah. I use 18 some, but I just like the, 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 the 16 just fits me well, the best. I, I, he likes like, this. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> jerking the man. Yeah. You don't have to, I mean, really, with that 16 or the 18, one of the things I like about it is I, I don't have to jerk as much. I mean, I just, I lift. I mean, yeah, it I'm not hook. really jerking. And I've, Peyton's seen it. I've got something going on with my hand and my wrist. And I have to watch it with that rod. If 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 I'm casting and I and I set the hook, I mean if yeah. if it hits, if my wrist hits right here just time. about, it's like yeah, I think that's what it is, carpet yeah. But my hand would just come open, and I mean you got to catch the rod. Yeah, he, uh, he set the hook with a blue diamond last year, and just let the whole rod go. He was, he was like, yes, two, <laughs> two, <laughs> two fourteen foot blue diamonds with. Very nice bait casting reels. Where are they at? Where'd you lose them? They're in Big Hippie. <laughs> and so if someone them. catches those, give it back to Greg. They, yeah. they are about 150 yards apart. Oh, wow. I mean, I leave Same me, day? I, yeah. What? I, they pitched one out there, mm. and Peyton said, man, there's, there's, there he is. There's a good one. And I wow. set the hook and boom. I mean, right in the... Like it went. It was yeah. cold too, so it cold yeah, his wrist. Yeah. 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 But now with this one, you know, it's got that longer and angle then, too. Uh, yeah, that's what I say. That 18, yeah. that 16 and 18, mm -hmm. it just lays out there on my arm, and I can just lift it. I don't. Have, it does. And my my shoulder will bother me on them other rods. Uh -huh. And my arm. I mean, by the end of the day, I mean, it is killing me. And I can fish all day long with that 16. And it does not, I mean, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. I, I, I know what it is. So that's that's become my yeah. my favorite. I, I like the anniversary rod. I'm, yes. I'm kind of, I just go back and forth on how far I want to cast because the Seven. longer your rod, the longer the cast. And it's uh, a and little so. stiffer rod than the shop yeah, shooter. It's, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's got a nice tip on it. It's <laughs> yeah. got a nice fast tip. You can use it for bass fishing too. Yeah, I use it for yeah. everything now. Yeah. I just pull them out, and then I just change what's on them. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, um, you can use just, that all on your finesse bass fishing too. Yeah, I mean the jig head minnow is basically just. It's, yeah. I always tell people that you're just jig head minnow fishing. It's kind of, it's just like crappie fishing. Right. I mean, it's just the same except sometimes they want it faster. Right. They want to pop or something on right. it and that makes the difference but because I don't have brakes and I don't have you guys have blades in blades, the back paddles mm -hmm. paddles in the back um, that 18 footer is the one that I like in the winter yeah. because that gets me 32 foot out on mm -hmm. a swing usually pretty good right. very constant 32 and that before I get up too close to them that helps and another me. thing I like about so, that 16 and the 18 and sometimes as you start poaching, coming out of winter and start going into the spring, them, them fish are just like two and three foot under the surface of the water sunning. Uh -huh. And you can pitch out just far enough past them that you can get that bait, you can hold that bait right above them. And, and I mean, nail them, I mean, it's... That's there right. you go, the new now, ambush. That takes us to the ambush. This is this is Lance's rod. Yeah. You know what to use this for? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got I got You're the little mighty too in my in my, in my boat. I like the look, look of it just the way it is. So I used dish. the little mighty in your boat, remember? That. And you were rigging and I took the little mighty out in the So this is the car. new That's the ambush, ambush rod that yeah. carbon graphite stands out to twenty four and a half feet. But this is the very tip of it, and it has a kind of like a string. Yeah. You tie a little loop in there, and then you put your line on the end of that loop. And it extends out. To We're 20. all looking at the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'll extend out to 24 and a half feet. And the thing is, 
is once you set that hook, you don't reel in. You just push each yeah. lever in and until you shorten it up enough to what you can lift that fish up. Yeah. It's uh, becoming very popular. Yeah. Uh, Caps, that's, that's different Ronnie too. Caps and Coleman yeah. came up with this. They came up with the Mighty first, and then now they've come out with this one. Right. This one retails for about 150 bucks. So what happens, um, the reason why... Give them that one. It just pulls out. Oh, I'm not going to break anything. Yeah. It is, it's carbon graphite fiber. This yeah. is. Very light. And so before... It wasn't, and when it got wet, it went going oh, yeah. out. That's right. So, see, they changed that, yeah. and so you could hear that. And it's got when, a nice when he was doing it, grip on the handle here, too. Uh -huh. on this. But but that's the reason why it's made like that. All these yeah. extensions going out are all the same. Yeah, this will always slide all, in easier. It, it keeps going, and it, so that water that goes inside there, so that's to slide in and out easier. So that's what's different between that and the yeah. mighty. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna get an uh, interview with Jack at ICAST about this because yeah. yeah. they'll have it. They'll have it at ICAST. I'm yeah, excited they... to use it in the December. In December. Once, I, want, I mean, well, once it gets cold. Yeah. And the uh, fish get <clears throat> back into that five, five. Six, yeah. You're just gonna use a hook and a split uh, shot. Yeah, split hook and a split shot. Just put them in on. Yeah. The gold, I think. Uh, gold uh, hook. Gold hook. Gold hook. I think it can come in. And, uh, Told me. I've got one and, and two. I think uh, you get from time to time we get people that wants to uh, fish live school, uh -huh. and but they can't coordinate and figure out the pitch or if they try to use a spinning uh -huh. rod, they 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 can't get in the window of where we need to be to get that get on that fish to catch. So then they get frustrated. So I think we can take this yeah. when the fish are in the column from like 15 feet deep and up. Yeah, no. And because the length of line you put on there is all, is what you got to fish with because you can't right. can't rig it up. So uh, I think that you extend that out to say 20 feet, and you got a fish there. They can get it. And then you can say move right or left and get right. it more in line of the fish. And then at that point, all they got to do is go up or down right. uh, to be above the fish, you know. So uh, I think that that might help them better understand uh, the concept of the life school. What yeah. do you think that weighs? How many ounces? Does it say on the oh, deal there? I like, like, look, I like I the look got all the specs of it. But it I mean, how nice would that be? Just throwing your rod ball. I was just so carrying. I was carrying around all the time. Uh, that's what I say. I'm gonna put mine. It's not a pound. Mm -hmm. I ain't even I pound. Know, I'm saying, Point nine three. Point ten. Point twelve. It's not much. Huh? Well, that's that's it's a good feel, feel, deal. Yeah, it so, feels good. I'm excited about it. I'm gonna, it's gonna be fun in the winter time. I'm, I'll just probably just do it by myself when I do it on guide trips, but. You know, take it out. If somebody wants to see it, I'll show them how to use it. But I'm be excited to use it. Easy to store. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great to store it. Yeah. It will be. Great, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be. Alright, there you go. There you have it. That's our favorite rods. And uh, so it's all good. Plus, we got to see the brand new uh, Ambush yes. being in pole. Yes. So, Lance, good of you to bring it in for me. And, uh, oh, I mean, Greg brought that in. <laughs> But uh, uh, that's all good right in there. So uh, if you want to go fishing and use some of these rods that we've been talking about, um, if they want to hook up with you, Greg. Uh, Greg's Guide Fishing on Facebook or 479-601-1683. How about you? You can find me at Peyton Entry Fishing on Facebook or 479-387-6153. Uh, Lance Huey on Facebook or 479-236-4105. You can catch me at Brad Weekman, um, Weekman's Guide Service, or 479-756-5279. Great. Sounded like you were going to say something. No. Don't want to cut no. you off. Nope. Well, let's Good. keep it hard. Oh. oh, I thought you were going to put that in. Put that in. <laughs> there you go. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>